the reason that everybody is here, I think the reason that it's so exciting is because philanthropy and government aid have been around forever. It's a pretty steady state in terms of the amount of money that's donated every year. The big possibility is actually the trillions of dollars of investment capital that could be brought to bear. And it's not just the money, it's the innovation, it's the disruptive technology, it's bringing super powerful entrepreneurial energy to the solving of big problems. This is really about how can we connect money to change, to meaningful change. And so um, for me, you know, my whole career has been about finding ways to take the market to make impact. Circup is about the intersection of money and meaning, but that really means we're in the space between giving and investing. So people used to think you had to invest for money and you give for good, and it was two-pocket thinking. I invest over here, I give over here. And we said, no, you can invest for good for the same goals in which you give. And what I have seen over the last eight years of these conversations is that people are getting serious about what their money means to them other than a boat or a second car or a college education, what it means about how they live their lives. I feel like SoCAF is kind of the barometer of what's going on in the impact investing field. It gets bigger every year. I think the first year I got here, it was maybe five or six hundred people, and I heard it was three or four thousand this year. The thing that I hear most that people love about SoCAP is the people they meet here. Because we consider ourselves a big tent conference, there's a lot of what we call valuable strangers. There's people that you didn't know you need to meet who are able to take you to that next level. There's too many people to meet. That is actually the strength of it. And once you really dive in, and, and I've been uh, pleased as a sponsor with Impact Assets to be a part of that, over the years, we've really fine-tuned how we get a ton of value from this experience. So at SoCab, we think as much of the value comes from the networking that's happening in the pavilions as what happens in the organized content. We have about six hours of main stage time when there's no competing content. And those are opportunities to introduce people to new ideas and to inspire them, move them into new areas of action. And so there's over 150 breakout sessions building those connections so they can take that work forward. For me, it's always invigorating to see this much just energy at a, at a gathering like this. I think so often we get focused on our individual companies or tasks that it's, you sometimes lose the appreciation that there's a lot of other people working in parallel paths. It is like coming home. I, I wrote on Facebook the night before we started, you know, 2,500 of my best friends are coming to San Francisco. 